Okay, so one more particle type that I haven't shown yet is the concrete. Concrete is basically a particle that becomes a wall when it comes in contact with something solid. For example, if I drop it here on top of this wall, it will harden and form a wall. Notice the concrete that fell on the sand also hardened because sand is a solid. However, if I try to dump the concrete in the water, it will not harden until it comes in contact with the wall at the bottom. Similarly, concrete does not harden when it's in oil, which is a liquid, but it does harden when it comes in contact with salt. Now some other features aside from drawing particles, there's a pause button on the keyboard which I can press to basically pause the simulation. I can still draw during this time, so this can be used to set up the screen to an initial configuration. Um, if I resume the screen by pressing the pause button again, then the particles start to move again. Uh, I also can change the sizes of the faucets on top of the screen. For example, really increase the size of that oil faucet up here. I can modify the size of the cursor used to draw things. And I have a reset command which can basically clear the entire screen and you can start again. However, I can also reset with uh, other particle types. Basically, when I hit that reset key, it turns the entire screen blank. If I hit the reset key while I'm drawing oil, it'll turn the entire screen into oil at first. So I can set the entire screen, for example, to a plant type and then light it on fire and see how that spreads. I can also turn the entire screen into concrete. And because of the way that the off-screen pixels are simulated, with the pixels at the bottom of the screen being blank so that particles can fall into it, but the, part, uh, the particles on the sides of the screen are considered walls because if I wanted to start off with a blank scenario where I just draw a wall like this, I can trap the sand against the screen and it's not just going to spill off into nothingness. Now, one additional feature here, uh, it's basically a way to reset the screen in a rather unorthodox method. It's a troll key, summons the troll and lights everything on fire. <laughs> and, you know, that seems like an, you know, a humorous kind of feature, but it also has some interesting properties. For example, if I reset the entire screen using the wall particle and then summon the troll, you will randomly remove uh, pixels from the wall and that allows for this interesting trickling effect oh, that cool. kind of resembles uh, like water running down the side of a cliff. So that's interesting. That's very uh, compelling. Very fractal. Mm -hmm. Now I can also do something similar with the spout reset. So remember the spout emits water. If I summon the troll to get rid of random uh, particles, do it a few times, lower the density of the spout. You can see right at that moment when the troll disappears, all the water starts appearing in and so it looks, I don't know, kind of what you think about when it just starts to rain and there's this heavy downpour right there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool.